morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm up in Sturgeon Bay, going to be targeting some whitefish with my man Brett. For those of you guys that don't know Brett, he is probably the most dialed guide up here in the Green Bay, Sturgeon Bay area for whitefish through the ice and a lot of other species. He does some open water musky fishing as well. I had the opportunity to drive up with Eric and Brett to the St. Paul Ice Show and talk a lot with Brett and he shot me a text. He was like, hey, you want to come up and fish? I'm on a really good bite right now and film a video. I said, absolutely. So I drove up here. I'm staying at Beach Harbor Resort. Huge shout out to these guys. Um, they're letting me stay here. If you guys are ever up here in the Sturgeon Bay area and want a nice little place to stay, they have a boat launch right here uh, for open water in the spring and summer. Obviously, that is awesome because it's literally right here. You can just launch your boat, get up in the morning and go. But we're going to get right into this video. I'm going to head out. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. I told Brett I would be at his place at 6.15 and it's a 12 minute drive. So I'm just getting all my stuff ready, packed, all my camera stuff loaded up into the car. I'm headed out. We're going to take some of his vehicles out on the ice and hopefully start slaying some big old fish. We might even go fish for some walleyes later tonight. Make sure you guys stick with us, stay tuned, and let's go catch some fish. All right, guys, welcome to Green Bay. Well, I guess Sturgeon Bay. We are going for some whitefish today with the one and only Brett. Yeah, I'm already marking too. Fishing 85 feet of water. We're fishing deep. Fishing real deep. Here we go. I already got a fish on me. Feels weird to not be in the harbor today. <laughs> I feel like that's where I've been going almost all year. Catching big browns. First time white fishing this year. I'm kind of kind of stoked Brett asked me to come out here because Y'all one? Oh look at Brett's hooked up over there. Is it a big one? There we go. Finally. Yeah, now I see what you mean with the up bite. You felt it? You slap it? Yeah, I was like, I didn't feel my jig anymore. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love it. That's pretty weird. Yeah. Totally different from what I'm used to. It's fun fighting them in 80, 80 feet of water, though. Yeah. They don't bite like trout, though. Oh, it's a dink. Oh, yeah. Thanks, boss. Just like that. First yeah, fish of the day. Brett hooked me up with this little funky, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a little minnow looking thing. Apparently it works. It's so weird how they, they like up it. It's freaking really weird. He was telling me just to work it quick, but like it may seem like I'm jigging aggressively, but I'm just kind of making it flop on the bottom. Oh, I whiffed. <laughs> he followed me up after I missed. These must be little. I've been tapped like three times. There we go, finally. There you go. This one feels good. Get him. Their head shakes are so cool. They're like super big. My second fish that I've hooked today. Oh yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a big one. Come on, double this up, Brett. I'm trying. It's a fun fight in that deep water. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Tank? Yeah, it's a f giant. Wow, that's a big one. Look at that. That is a giant. Hell yeah. I got <laughs> one on me right now. That's a tank, dude. It was funny, right before I hooked up, I said, I think this is a small one. It keeps tapping me. That is a beast of a whitefish right there. So cool. So cool. All right, guys, I just quickly want to go over my setup here. As soon as I can get back down to bottom. That's the only downfall. I was trying to get back to back to bottom after catching a fish. I'm just using a 31-inch uh, medium hot rod. It's real nice when I'm fishing real close to the hole like this, just to have a shorter rod. I have a 8-pound Suffix Ice Braid on here, and then I'm using a 10-pound 
fluorocarbon leader because uh, Brett says 10 pound works, so 10 pound works. And I just got a giant, so 10 pound definitely works. Gotta be a little white fish or go, oh, baby white fish <laughs> on a slider hook. That's funny. There we go. Another good one. Nice. Big one. Cracking on them. Man, this is fun. <coughs> yeah, it's a blast. I haven't done like anything really besides trout fishing this year. So like, this is just like so different. Yeah. So different, but so fun. There's one down there waiting oh, for me. Let's see if I can actually get my deucer out of the water here. Okay, this is another big one. Here's my leader. Oh, here you go. Not as big as my other one, but still a nice fish. Still a nice fish. They fight hard, especially when you're reeling them in out of 80 feet of water. Super cool. Man, what a beautiful day, huh? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, rip. I whiffed. Oh, he hit it again on the way down. <coughs> there he is. He hit it three times. Ooh. Oh, we're doubled up. Brett and I are doubled. <laughs> Could you back up a little farther, I Brett? I got my phone <laughs> in my hand. <laughs> He had his phone in his hand, so we had to walk back like 20 feet to keep tension on him. This feels like another decent fish. You guys feel good? Yeah, that's a good one. Here's my lead. Oh, yeah, this is a giant. Is it? Yeah, mine's pretty solid. Not too giant, though. This is a tank. Here's my little fish. Let's head over and see what Brett's got. Racking them up over here. Yeah, piling them up. Now they're starting to roll out. They're coming from shallow water out to deep water, so we're marking more and more, which is pretty typical. A lot of times in the morning, you get them up in that 30 to 50 foot, and then once the sun gets up, they'll come to these deeper ledges in like 70 to 100 feet. So we're sitting in, I'm sitting in 81 feet of water right here. Um, got a little guy here I'm trying to <laughs> let go. A lot of times they just got to burp their air. Once they burp their air, and then they'll take off. There he goes. Oh, oh he had it. Nice. Telephone ringing. Yeah. Fish biting. Hello, I'm fighting a fish. Definitely a lot of big fish around here, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Just out in the middle of nowhere. Out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, he just came off. Did he? <laughs> oh, rip. Catch him. He's chasing it. Begging. Do you like biggins? Is it the I same like. size as this one? Yeah. It's fun fighting them in deep water. Yeah. Every time I white fish in like, you know, Green Bay, something like 12 feet. Oh, so you yeah. hook them, um, a couple head shakes, and you're up the hole. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's cool when you can fight them out of 80, 90 feet of oh, water. Yeah. You get a great fight. And they fight all hard all the way up. Yeah. They're just such a powerful fish. They're built for speed. They're like a torpedo. Wow, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. yeah. Beauty. Yeah, they're stacked right here. Yeah. Oh! Doubled up. Doubled up. He's got a fish over there. 
And Brett's hooked up too. I'll tell everybody what, normally one of the most popular spots to fish, whitefish, is out on Larson's Reef in Sturgeon Bay. It's about a seven mile stretch. There's a lot of people down there. That's typically where we fish. But this year it got really crowded and uh, whitefish get spooky to noise. So me and some of my crew did a little scouting and we found a new area away from everybody. Nobody's around here fishing and we are lighting up a lot of really big white fish. Um, so we're gonna, next year our plans are, we're gonna move at least half of our fleet of shacks up this way and we are going to catch giant white fish like this. Look at the size of that fish. That's a five pound white fish right there. So the fish are way bigger in this area for some reason and they're very easy for us to catch because there's no noise so that is our intention for next year <laughs> right i like our other hole better right as i say that Little tiny hops, little baby hops. See right under your hole? Yeah, he's coming straight up. All right. Little baby. Finally. That's like our average size that that we catch down in. The, that's actually probably a good one and out on the reef. You have to put that in there for sure. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's a good one. Not a, Not a giant. Oh, yeah, that's a tanker. Four pounder. Beauty. We keeping this going? Yep. Add him to the pile. Good? Good one. That thing, I had that thing halfway up and it peeled all the way back down to the bottom, peeled 40 feet of drag out. Yeah, you're on video. Don't be messing it up. Here it comes. What is it? White fish. Bubbling white fish. Big white oh. fish. Oh. That's a tank. That is a hog. Like a over five pound whitey. Oh yeah. Another one? Yeah, it's a little guy. Okay. Doubled up. Doubled up. <laughs> Hell yeah. That is why you come fish with Brett. <laughs> you double up four feet away from each other. I'm gonna this let one. this one go. Are you? Yeah, he's like. Yeah, that ain't that big. We got plenty. 18 inches, but we we'll catch some bigger ones. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna let this little guy go too. Yeah. Ha! Huh? Oh, the seagulls there! Ha! <laughs> 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 little guy, going right back. I just wait until I lift up and then I feel something like totally weird, and then I just set the hook. You don't actually feel them like hit it. You guys having a good time. As you catch them, let them know. So let them know we're at 50, what, 54 now? Make that 55. This <laughs> 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 is how I put my cell phone back in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> this is how Eric Hardy fishes. Pull him up. <laughs> Pull him up. Then reel down. You ever watch? Reel down. Oh, and he just got off. <laughs> there he is. Go, go, go. This is how you catch a whitefish right here. Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> he didn't even reel one. 80 feet right there, baby. What you got? Got a nice white fish. <sighs> well, you know, it was a fun day of white fishing. Um, we got some of the best white fishing in the world up here in Door County. I'm pretty pretty stoked because Eli went scouting and he found a new spot we're gonna set up on so it's always fun getting to a new spot and trying new stuff and so that's what we did today and it, it paid off. And this is gonna be next year's spot right? This is gonna be next year's spot. Alrighty guys I just hopped off the ice just got done slamming some whitefish with my man Brett that was an absolute blast we caught so many fish we only fished for like three hours and we just absolutely put the beat down on them we had a six man limit in a matter of like three three and a half hours it was absolutely insane the bite was great so i don't know if you guys heard brett at all but he said the bite was really tough for him in most of his spots that he normally takes people out to fish um he said him and his buddies went out and ended up actually finding this new spot that was just loaded with huge huge whitefish and we caught some absolute hogs today so brett was telling me he's going to be running most of his trips the next season in that spot that we were filming in today. They're all giant, giant whitefish, and it was just an absolute blast jigging them up. It was an absolute blast. I literally, I can't say anything else other than that. We fished for a couple hours. So I'm actually gonna head out with Brett again. I just ran back to Beach Harbor to grab all my stuff. I'm gonna be headed down farther south to hopefully get on some big old walleyes through the ice as well. We're gonna have an afternoon bite, hopefully get into a little night bite walleye action. We're gonna head to Green Bay. It's only like noon right now. I'll probably go grab some grub. I will leave all of Brett's info down below if you guys want to book a trip with him next season. I would highly, highly recommend it. That guy is dialed, whether it's open water or ice, he knows his stuff up here in Green Bay, Sturgeon Bay, in the Door County area. So make sure you guys hit him up. Huge shout out once again to Beach Harbor right behind me for letting me stay here tonight and uh, just made my life a lot easier. I got to drive up last night, get up and go fishing 10 minutes away. It doesn't get much better than that. So I hope you guys did enjoy it and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.